What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. The other day I did say that I was actually going to be going up to Neem's garage and I actually did. But I didn't film it because I just wanted a day to drive up, kick with the homies all day and then drive back home. And I did pick up new mirrors and here they are. These are the Gen 3 spoon mirrors. They are powered. The only issue I have with them is my car is not powered so I have to push in by hand which I'd be very careful with and they are blue tint. So a really, really nice mirror. I bought it with the base plates I got from Neiman's Garage, so check them out and hit them up if you guys need anything for your car. And it did come with this big ass box right here. You guys want the part number? There's the part number 76210EK9. Oh, and check it out the fridge restocked it, boy. So there's a lot of salt in here. I really want to get like some IPA beers and stuff in here, but. That I'll have to wait for now. I just decided to buy these because I was at Walmart and it was like three bucks for a 12 pack. So I just had to just throw it all in there with some Gatorade, of course. So whenever the boys come through, I got you guys. And look, Juan, you love Coke, right? Oh crap. You think there's only Coke right here, but it's actually all behind here. There's like 24 Cokes in there just for you, boy. I don't drink Coke. I'll probably fuck with the Sun Kiss and the cream soda. And yeah, so right now I am currently putting the mirrors on. Now the spoon mirrors, they come with these three wires. So you can wire it to your harness, but my car doesn't have powered mirrors or power windows. So I'm not gonna be using these. I'm just gonna be tucking it around or tucking it in there. And I have to take off this panel because I can't get that last screw in there because of this little hump on the door panel. So I'm taking it off and just gonna be putting that last one in and then gonna move back and forth sitting in that seat over there and adjusting it here and there. And I also did buy a Circuit Hero shifter plate, also from Neem's Garage, so right there. We'll get to install on that. It's pretty much a plate that covers this and I think it's gonna look really, really nice in here. We'll do that right after. But for now I'm doing the mirror, so I gotta take off the panels and do all that. And mine saw that too. I did get a new, what was it? Horn delete button. It is from Aerogenix. Thank you guys very much, Aerogenix. And uh, I guess they knew who they were shipping it to, so <laughs> thank you very much, boys. So I'm gonna open this and show you guys the difference between the current one I have on my car compared to this one. Aerogenix made in the USA. There it is. So, back Aerogenix. Now, the one that's currently in my car, this one right here, this was actually made by Aerogenix also, so the same company that this is from. But this one right here, you can see how it's slightly smaller? There's a gap because on Nardi, Personal, Keys Racing, Vertex, a bunch of steering wheels um, that are made by Nardi or roughly this size, they have a bigger hole or bigger um, centerpiece compared to like a Momo steering wheel. A Momo steering wheel will fit this for sure and I'm gonna sell this for, or give to somebody. And this one, the circle is slightly larger. And it's cool because it will match my Circuit Hero steering wheel hub. So that's cool, both raw aluminum. And it should fill in this gap because this gap does bug me a lot. And yep, yeah, but I might be changing up the steering wheel. I might get another Nardi. This is my third Nardi, but kind of want to get another one and change it up. I'm just going to do that mirror and uh, finish that. And then we can start by doing the Circuit Hero shifter plate and the Horn delete. So I have all three of them in. The only thing I need to do is go to the junkyard or buy it online, a flat block off plate for right here because the current one have, has a hole in it. Um, but that's all I need to do and I need to adjust the mirror. And you have to be very careful with this. So how I'm doing it is by pushing it. Okay, I gotta do it with two hands. There's no way I could do this with one hand. All right, so now they are both adjusted so I can see perfectly fine. And all right, that's it. Now I just gotta get those block offs for right here. And I need to put this on now. Shifter plate is a really cool piece. And I've always wanted it, but I just never like decided to buy it because I didn't really need it. But I guess it is time. There we go. And normally the black trim you have to do it yourself and it was so hard for me to do, so I had John do it. Which is one reason why this fool <laughs> puts his Instagram on here and signed it. I was like, go ahead, go ahead and sign it. So this is pretty much gonna look like that. 
but it doesn't go, of course, inside. Very, very uh, easy to install. You just have to take off the center console right here and then put it into the factory um, holes. You use these factory screws. And I think I have this, the screws are not in there. But I'm gonna pull this out real quick and show you guys how to put that on. Here we have the steering console. It is upside down. These two bottom tabs with the heart goes in these. And the screws line up right there. Put it in the hole. Put it down and then you just put the two little core screws that go in there and that is it and it'll look like that. Hopefully it fits with my shifter. Once you have the screws inside, it looks like that. And I think they sell these for roughly 60 bucks. Really, really cool little piece. And here now to pray that it actually fits in my car because the way the shifter is, I can't really take it out. Okay, that is the furthest I'll go. Um, oh my God, it barely clears. tabs in all right perfect that looks really really nice very happy about that now to put everything back in wow oh it, it flows well with the um the hub cool and i also did get this at Nubes garage so thank you very much joe and angel and angel Two angels and John. Right, I'm just gonna bolt everything back up and then we can start by putting in the new horn delete button or horn delete plate and uh, what else? So, new ones in. Look at that, it's super flush. And like I was saying, this old one right here, it is made by Aerogenix also. That's their logo right there, Aerogenix. And the back side of this one has it also. So, um, also, the reason why I don't have a horn button, well, I do have the Nardi horn button for this steering wheel, but I don't have it because this Checker Sports hub right here, it does not allow you to run the horn button. There's no hole for you to run the wire through. So that's one reason why I'm running the horn delete plate. For those of you that are wondering why I don't have the Nardi horn button on here, even though I do have it over there. And yeah, but yeah, the coffee feels so much better now. Like, uh, well, minus those. Got the spoon mirrors, got the shifter plate right here. Got this new horn delete plate. And you guys didn't know, I am running the spoon wide view mirror also. So now we just all spoon out um, here and there. And yeah. And this shifter has been amazing. I've driven the car for I think over 600 miles within like this week. So very, very fun. And yeah, now I'm gonna clean up a little bit and see where we go from here. Most of you guys know that I am sponsored by McGuire's and they send me a lot of products to use. And one product that they gave me that I really, really love, and same with my brother, normally it's hard for us to like, well, especially for him to pick between like what's good and what's not, because he tried so many products out there. This right here is so amazing. This thing could restore all the trims on this car. And there's some white residue in there from when Victor was polishing out the car. And same goes with here. You can see it's slightly faded. Same with this molding right here. So I'm gonna be using this to bring all that back to life and very easy to use. Uh, you don't need a clean rag because it's gonna get dirty anyways. Spray some on the tip. Uh, let's just go right here. All right. Now to bring it over. So hopefully I can get in there with one hand. Okay, it's really hard to get in there with one hand. I got. I'll come back to that later. But you can use this. You don't need that much for the trim, especially down here. These trims, you can see how there's white stains on it. If you bring this over to that, you just rub a little bit. The white stain goes away and 
These trims are really annoying too. I'm surprised that this one is still like intact because they normally chip away. There we go. Same goes on the window trim. Look at that. Can you guys see that? So look, look at that. You guys can probably see that. And it doesn't dull away, it actually stays like this. There we go. And I'm just gonna get in there real quick. Okay, I need to do that with my hands, with both my hands. Same goes with this window trim right here. You guys can kind of see that? Look, look at that. And most people think that it'll fade away after, but it actually stays like that too. Really, really cool product. I love this thing. You guys have to buy this. This thing can restore all your trims, including your side moldings and the lip. Look at that, I'll do a little lip real quick. Look at that boys. Works super well, but wow. All right, so I think that's the end of this video. Just a little quick little update video or just a quick little video working on the car. I have more stuff coming up for the car and everything, but I have to wait on parts. I did buy a new hood. So this hood will be for sale eventually, but not now because I have to wait for my new hood to come. And huge shout outs to New Air. Use my discount code Tommy for 20% off your order. The links will be down below. Very cool thing. And ooh, the drinks are starting to get cold. It's taking a while because there's a lot of drinks. But yeah, come through, boys. Got the drinks for you. And yep, that is it. So, guys, don't listen to others. Just keep building. Just keep driving you guys' car around. And have a good one, guys. Peace out.